Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to a, a new video. My name is Prince Mason. Today, we're going to be color grading this image, which is typically not the type of image that I would shoot or, you know, yeah, you guys know I, I'm a beauty photographer. But every once in a while, I like to try my hands when it comes to color grading with other things, right? And um, I'll put a link in the description below to this image so you guys can just download it and follow. I know not a lot of people shoot images like this, but, you know, it would be nice for you to try your hands out on something like this. You might learn a thing or two. So, yeah, but before we get into today's video, check out my digital store. I have skin tone lots. I have my retouching essentials pack, which has 14 amazing actions. You guys can see them right here um you use them to retouch and you love them and i also have some freebies there like frequent separation tea and eyes whitening action all that stuff just go to the digital store i'll put a link in the description below and i also put a card up here so you guys can just go cop something from your boy and support me so yeah now when it comes to an image like this recently i've been trying out something a little bit different which is the channel mixer um right now i'm just going to open like i'll click right here which um i just meant layers and i'll go to channel mixer now i have a lot of greens in this image right and that's what i am targeting right now so what i'm going to do is just go to my green output channel and right now i'm just going to reduce my greens all the way um to like yeah somewhere almost zero right and what i'm going to do is i'm just mixing my greens and my blues right so by the time i pull my blues up i'm just going to get a lot of like reddish tint in my image right so you guys can see where we have gone from so from this to this in no time so the next thing i want to do is change my adjustment layer so let's see the hue or the color hue or color okay i think i'll stick with you because i like you for this one so let's see oh i'm just going to zoom out um let's see our before and after so before after so you guys can see we are already getting somewhere right now the next thing i want to do is open my favorite color grading adjustment layer which is the selective color right i have a lot of reds in this image and her skin tones are kind of reddish yellow your skin tones are like they just fall let me say in oranges right and um, since we don't have the orange color and selective color you just work on your reds and your your yellows so right now i'm going to go to my reds and what i'm going to do right now is i can see her skin looks just a little bit pale right so what i'm going to do is just pull my reds back so i can add some reds to the image so let's see our before and our after you guys can see i've added some reds to the image if i zoom in here and show you the before and after you can see that i have added some reds to her skin tones too right and the next thing i want to do is just add some magenta to it so just a little bit nothing too much and i'll also add some yellows to her skin tone so somewhere around 45 46 okay yeah that's fine so now let's zoom in and see so this is uh before and uh, after you guys can see the whole reddish tones like popping out right now little red riding hood me and my dry jokes that i make on here okay so the next thing i'm going to do is go to my yellows and for my yellows i'll just add some reds to that too i'm also going to you know this time go the other way and add some greens to this but nothing too much and i'll also add some yellows to my yellow again uh let's see somewhere around here is fine yeah somewhere around here is fine so let's see where we started from so this is our before and this is our after you guys can see we are making significant progress so i still have some greens in this image right so i'm just going to go to my greens and what i'll do is just add some yellows to my greens because you know i just want my greens to look warm so if we take it the other way look at the greens here we have like it's almost like we're adding blues to it so they turn to s s more of like a dull cyan color can you guys see that but when we pull it this way you know we're just adding more vibrancy to our greens by adding yellows to them so you know anywhere around here is fine so that's good uh what we're going to do right now again is look at our before and our after we're making significant progress so what i want to do right now is work on my blacks my neutrals and my um, my whites so basically i just want to work on my shadows my highlights and my mid-tones right so what i'm going to do is open a new selective color 
made a mistake open gradient map what i'm going to do is open a new selective color then come all the way down to my blacks and i want to add like a grade to it so let's just go cyan okay right so let's just go cyan let's see you guys can see it it kind of like just dulled everything down but at the same time it just makes it look really really nice right so let's add some yellows to that nothing too much and let's just let's just reduce our blacks just a little bit so what this does is it just gives it that filmic um faded look but just for the blacks right so we don't want to do that too much so somewhere around here is fine so let's see how before now after you guys can see you know mixing reds with sand sometimes just works great right so now we're going to go to our neutrals and in our neutrals what i'm going to do is add some um maybe reduce the cyan from it and add some red to the neutrals and um what else what else what else maybe add some yellows again to the neutrals as you guys can see see it's making it pop but nothing too much now the reason why i'm adding some yellows and some reds to my neutrals is because that's typically where my skin tones are and i don't want my skin tones to look um not rich you know i still want her to look rich i want her to stand out regardless of uh, being in a very red backdrop right so now we're going to go to our whites and now whites i won't do too much i'll just add some yellows to it so that's basically my highlights right okay great so let's see how before see where we started from and look at how or look at where we are right now looks looks really good so now you guys know i always play with my um levels to add contrast to my images so I'm just going to pull in my whites just a little bit, pull in my blacks, you know, just make it look a lot more contrasty. So let's see how before and how after. Um, looks really nice. I think it has killed the um, effect of the blacks that we have here, the faded blacks. So I'm just going to bring that back just a little bit more. Okay, looks really nice. So let's see how before again, before and how after. Amazing. That's just... just just creative color grid right now the next thing i'm going to do which is like the final thing i'm doing for now is create a new um, a new blank layer now I'll go to my gradient tool right here make sure that my gradient is black um i'm going to pick circular gradient reverse this is just how it works for me just try different things and see how it works for you and i'm going to hold shift so i can draw a straight line down and yes now i'm going to add a gradient to that to make her stand out and probably change my blend mode to soft light so this is it this is it simple and easy now mind you this color grade is not going to work for every image that has greens in it it's just working really good for this image right now but i hope you guys have an idea of how these things work you know the selective color the channel mixer you just have to mix things up sometimes you know and you might just stumble on something that that's really really good and something that works for you but you guys can download this image and try it out and see if you love the color grade and if you do give this video a thumbs up uh also like i said check out my digital store i have some amazing lots i have these outdoor lots that i'm putting out very very soon i have worked on them i think i'm putting out 15 outdoor lots that you guys will love and i have some other free lots coming out really soon so i hope you guys enjoy those ones when they're out i'm still working on them anyways thank you so much for watching today's video once again this is the before this is the after go try it out for yourself and have an amazing day i'll see you guys in the next video Peace.